Apple app. A apple app. E and F. E and F. We introduce letters and the sounds um, in a very systematic way. S snake. S snake. Um, a couple each week, and we're introducing the letter of the sound and the keyword and sound all together so that they're getting that multi-sensory approach. Um, handwriting's a big part of the component too because when they're doing the handwriting part of it, that's connecting their brain to the learning of the letter too. Start at the plain line, go down to the worm line, trace back up to the plain line, curve around to the grass line. P, hand, we're going to become automatic with learning these sounds and then we're going to blend them together to make words and then do that reverse of that for writing so that they can also spell the words. With the dyslexia law, it's really based on the science of reading, which is a very research-based, how does your brain learn to read? Men. Break out your sounds. What sound are we changing here? Um, and the science of reading says that by looking at patterns of words, we don't want kids to try to memorize it because your brain can't hold all of that. So looking for patterns and getting those patterns in your brain is what is successful. And that's what this program is doing. It's teaching patterns of letters and sounds and drawing attention to it through coding and reading and writing. That's a vowel too. That's another vowel. Yeah. That's three vowels in a row. And then they also have magnetic boards that they use. Um, they write it on whiteboards. So there's lots of opportunities for them to be um, exposed to the different patterns. And so there's a very systematic way that they like the sound cards practiced. Then in addition, we have our trick words. And so they um, recommend that we look at words these would be high frequency words that you see a lot in your um, in text and we look at you know what are the rule breakers so sure there is not an sh at the beginning of sure so the students really have to memorize that part of the word so we have our trick words we have our word of the day and those words of the day follow the pattern that we are teaching but it also um, has a vocabulary element to them. So we discuss how it can be used in a sentence. And then the students also have several resources. So we have our student notebook, and then we also have the composition book. And th these offer ways for students to practice the skill, and it's also a different, um, it's a resource book for the students as well. So what we're seeing here is, you know, with all the, exposure they're getting to the letter patterns and the letter sounds that is staying in their brains and they're using they're learning rules of when they should use certain letters for example um, when do you put ck at the end of a word you put a ck after a one syllable short vowel word and so now that they know that when they go to spell it they remember that ck rule and they'll write ck um, so that's sort of i think a, a shift in thinking um, we do do after each unit we do do an assessment with the students to see if they have um, mastered it we expect 80 percent to be mastery for that and if they haven't mastered the skills taught in that particular unit we go back and do a little bit of extra intervention or small group work with them um, to get them up to speed on what what they need to know as they continue on we want to see those skills carry over into their own work. So if they're sitting here at my table and we are working on, you know, a short vowel with a digraph, that's great. But then when they are on their own, um, the, the best case scenario is that they take that skill and they apply it into their own writing. And I had a few students who, after a few weeks, they just needed constant reminders. And then last week, I saw it and it was independent and they were able to apply that bonus letter on their own um, in their own writing and so just those little victories are really exciting to see and you know we try to celebrate along the way. So we're actually what we're doing is we're giving kids strategies and we're giving them tools that they can use in their reading to attack words for reading and to know how to spell words. 
I think it's going to be fascinating to see what the third grade um, teachers say next year because I think they're going to see the handwriting, the actual writing of letters is going to be vastly improved because that's incorporated into the lessons and their knowledge and their spelling will also be vastly improved because of, of all the rules that they've learned um, with the work they've done in first and second grade.